Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about hair. Um, I know I haven't talked much about it on my blog or YouTube or Snapchat really, um, only because I don't do much with it. You probably noticed I don't do any cool braids like some of the other bloggers you may follow. Um, I just don't change it up that often. I do what works for me. It's easy. My hair isn't thick enough to do a lot of the cool hairstyles you see on Pinterest. Um, but this is how I like to do it. Um, and you may too. So let's get started. So first, um, the products. I want to cover those before we get into actually how I do it. So I don't put a lot of product in my hair because again, it's fine and it gets weighed down really easily. But this Shu Yumera volumizing foam is great. It's super light and it just adds a little bit of oomph. Um, another product I really like is this Living Proof Thickening Cream. Kind of the same effect. Kind of better in winter though, because it's a little heavier. And then, whew, oh, okay. And then I don't use dry shampoo very often. Um, really only when I'm traveling, simply because when I'm home, I'm working out like six days a week and I get super sweaty when I work out. So there's really no need to just like spray my hair down. I really have to fully rinse off every time I get in the shower. Um, and so I really only need this when I'm traveling, when I know I'm not going to be working out and can kind of take a few days off. Um, but this is the dry texturizing spray from Oribe and they come in these little great nifty travel sizes. So it's awesome. It adds some volume without looking like dry shampoo. Um, again, my hair is so fine. So sometimes product is really obvious. This product is great. Next, I'm going to talk about how I blow dry my hair. So if I've decided to use a product, I'm not using them today. Usually when I'm at home, if it's just like running errands or whatever, I just won't add a product. I don't feel like it's necessary. I don't know. But when I'm going out, I'll use this. So since it's today and I'm not doing anything, I'm not going to use product. What I do first is I put my hair into a half up, half down kind of bun with a clip so that I can blow dry the bottom of my hair first. So it'll look something like this, um, but basically half up, half down. And I do this because I get these kinks in my hair. I'm sure all of you do too. Um, but it, I just find it easier to do the bottom first to avoid the kinking underneath, which causes more kinks on top. So what I do is I use, oh no, <laughs> I use a roller brush put my hair through it, and then I blow dry. I'll show you an example in a second. I hope you'll bear with me. I've never done this with my iPhone, so it's a little trickier. It's trickier than it looks. Basically, this is how I do it. make sure to get the underside too. It adds a little curl at the bottom. I like a little blown under look. It honestly takes my hair about seven minutes to blow dry. That's how fine my hair is. It takes no time. It's great, but I wish my hair was a little thicker. All right, it looks like the bottom is done. Next, take out this clip. And I sometimes, depending on how type A I'm being, I will do an, a smaller bun at the top and save the best for last and continue to blow out the lower pieces. See, now there's sort of a curl under. It's a nice, nothing too crazy, but I don't like it super straight all the way down. It's not my favorite. So now that I'm done with the bottom, it has a nice, it kind of frames my face a little bit. My hair's getting long. Um, I will do the top. The top takes a little bit more zhuzhing, if you will. Whew, I always get sweaty when I blow dry my hair. I 
I pay particular attention to this part right here, since they're the layers. So I may blast this out with the pole. Now I'm using the cold air to seal it. Oh, feels good. Okay. Moving right along. I may come back and fix that again at the end. If you blow dry like this and blow dry under the hair, it provides a little more volume. And there you have it. Super easy, straight hair. Um, I'll be back to share my curling tips soon, but in the meantime, follow along on Snapchat at Merit Beck um, for behind the scenes beauty stuff. And if you have any questions, just email me, info at thestylescribe.com. I'll see y'all soon.